Welcome back to the Suburban Ford 7 Sports Game. My leg fell asleep over sitting at the couch. So Get on, buddy. I know. Get on. A year older. You guys can sing to me later on. But big party. We're ready for that big party. A guy who's always a party. Mike Foss, sports producer of the Suburban Ford 7 Sports Game, standing by, monitoring the Twitterverse for probably bad jokes about my birthday today. Mike, what's going on, man? Yeah, not quite so much about bad birthday jokes, but just like last week, the Tigers and the short-term, long-term future of the Tigers continuing to blow up Twitter, getting a lot of response this morning. Let's go ahead and get into it, what the people are saying. Using the hashtag 7 Sports Cave, Karen says it's not just the bullpen, which is horrible. Starting pitchers, other than Price, are having issues. Justin looked great. Oh. Daniel says it's been saying it doesn't matter who plays first or catcher as long as this bullpen dumpster fire isn't put out. <laughs> Patrick says the Tigers need to sell Price and rebuild the farm system. Joe Madden would love him in Wrigley. And Jay Rose professionally shaved. How about mm. that? Yes. Detroit Sports Podcast. When thinking about the Tigers' woes, is it too many holes on the team or not enough leadership? Who is the leader? And sort of along the same lines of that leadership angle, Jeff asking, why isn't Dave Dombrowski being held more accountable? He hasn't fixed the Tigers' pen for several years now. Probably cost them a World Series title. Guys? Well, Mike, a lot of really good, interesting points. Thanks for you out there, uh, Twitter world, to getting to us. I think the one that sticks out to me most is the one about the leadership. And I brought this up before. This is not something that I have shied away from because, again, mm -hmm. they, the, the team says we got a great clubhouse full of winners. And I say, that's great. Who's going to tell you you need to be accountable? Who's going to tell you you need to be better? Who's going to tell the bullpen they need to be better? Is it the is it the manager? Is it your star? Well, your star player, Miguel, doesn't want to. It doesn't seem. Maybe he's a different guy in the, with closed doors. Right. We we can't tell that. But he, he looks like he's a very good player, but he's not that leader. Justin Verlander appears to be all about Justin and JV and all guys named Justin Verlander. You yeah. don't have that guy. I guess Victor Martinez is your. He's that guy. He he's your he's, guy, but for this team, you need more than that. Yeah. Well, I think you're dealing with a group of professionals. These aren't young guys who need some veteran to shepherd over them. They all kind of know what they need to go in there to do, and you don't need a, a, a Jim Leland to go in and throw chairs and do anything to make this team work. They know on a day-to-day -day sure. basis what they need to do. Absolutely. Because they're not doing it. They, well, some days it's, it's baseball. This just isn't going to happen every day. Oh, my day. God. If it's, I hear it's, that, it's, this, I'm walking off the set if I hear this is baseball one more time. This is Brad Osmus, seriously, be the manager. Go in there and put your foot up with somebody's behind. I, that, that's not going to happen. Why? The, because you're, it's you not don't, him. You don't, it's no, just baseball. It, it, it might be him, but it's not going to work. You can't tell Miggy, go do better. Dude, I want a triple crown. I can't do better than that. That just is. Okay, Victor Martinez Miguel, is Victor then, Martinez. Then let's get to the next tweet where, the, where, the, where somebody asked about being Dave Dombrowski being accountable and holding him accountable. How much is it his fault? I agree that it, it cost it, them a World Series it is title. It's his fault, and then he goes off and pulls off the Prince Fielder deal. And then he goes off and unloads Prince Fielder. And as soon as you think that the game is passed him by, he pulls a rabbit out of his hat again. But no, they haven't won anything since it'll, he's been It'll here. remain to be seen if he can do that once again with this year's club. Dude brought Miguel Cabrera here. I, I, I can't knock that. He but, brought Miguel Cabrera here for a bag of balls. But yeah. at the time, it didn't look like a bag of balls. It, it never, never is, it it never is at the time. Gonna be it like never is that. at the time. Of course, it's not. But Rap, rap this because he's crazy. It's, it's he's crazy. Let's I kind of want these Let's guys rap, to just... This is what I grew up This with, is beard right? on beard fighting. I <laughs> love it. Well, we have a special guest in the house today for our next segment. There he is, former Lions safety Ron Rice in the building. He's going to be here to chat about an upcoming fundraiser with the NFL alumni. And we're going to talk a little Lions, a little football on a Sunday morning. That's coming up next with Suburban Ford 7 Sports Cape. Stay with us.